Karachi low for Kyle. All right, so let's talk about Black Raptor's question. He's looking for tech tree ships in tier eight and nine that are really good in this current season of Silver League ranked. Um, are, do you have a specific class you're looking for, Black Raptor? So, like, I can talk about cruisers and destroyers all day. It gets a lot tougher when you start talking about battleships. So let me know what kind of class you're interested in and focused on there. Okay. No preference. That's fine. Awesome. Chikalov. Feels terrible. Four destroyers. Martel, Oigan, Dallas, Lander. Okay, I'm near the Oigan. The Oigan is going to be my buddy, so we've got a little bit of AA cover. Seattle was... So, um, Kyle's recommendation would basically anything American Tier 9 in the tech tree. He's not far off. He's honestly right, right? Buffalo and Seattle are good choices The radar because of the radar and the guns. Fletcher is amazing. Um, Fletcher it's probably remains time. my favorite my favorite Tier 9 destroyer. There are so many good Tier 9 destroyers that it's impo I feel like it's no longer possible to make the argument that Fletcher is the best. But I feel like she is among the most flexible and certainly among the most capable. Um, so you've got a, basically any American Tier 9 ship. Um, it's almost easier for me to give you a list of ships to avoid. I would avoid uh, Italian heavy cruisers. I would avoid Brindisi and Amalfi. Again, they're not bad ships, but in ranked, I really feel like you need more utility than those ships provide. Um, the Russian cruisers, pretty much any of the Russian cruisers, are decent choices if you like playing those ships. So we're talking about Riga, Tallinn, Chapayev, and Donskoy, because they all have 12-kilometer radar, which gives them some utility. That's handy. Um, if you made me pick one of them, I'd say pick Donskoy. I feel like if you left of all of them, Donskoy would be my pick. Um... Let's finish cruisers. Would you play what I consider, what I recommend Rune? Rune is harder to recommend. I like Rune, but I feel like she's she doesn't, she's just not that good in a, in a ranked setting. You can make her work, but it's harder than it needs to be. Uh, German, Russian, Italian, Japanese. Don't play Ibuki. Just don't. Um, we talked about Americans. What am I missing? Uh, Dutch. Johan de Witt is not okay. I mean, she's, she's, she's okay. She's not great. I've had a little bit of, of success with her in Ranked, but again, it is very hit or miss. You can't recommend it. Masa, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Um, and then what am I missing still? Oh, go back and spot that guy again, Farragut. Uh, you make me so angry. Oh, there's the Alba. I should load the I should load the AP. Um, Pan Asian. So what do you? We, what we're talking? We'd be oh non pens. Yup. So we were talking about um, that would be Harbin and Dalian. Yes. No Harbin and what's the tier nine? It's not Sejong, is it? I can't remember. All right. If those sin okay, hang on, hang on. I really want to hit this guy. Dalian Sejong. It is Sejong. Well, we clipped him. I really need to get on top of this Alba. Oh, Gabe's here with his FR. What's up, Gabe? I'm about to T-bone you, Gabe. Damn. Sorry, Desert buddy. Road, no gas, and no chicks. <laughs> My bad. You can blame me for that one. Now, the Sims has still got me lit out here. Ah, there's the Alba. Thank you. Let's swap to the AP. And you get into a kiting position here. Um, ne yeah, don't play Neptune. Under no circumstances should you, play, should you play Neptune. Can you play Drake? This is going to sound ridiculous. I think there's a case to be made for Drake. Um, with obviously with Hydro, not with defensive fire. I think I think there is. I think you can make a case for Drake. It wouldn't be my choice, but it's not a horrible choice.
Oh, come on, shells. Come on, shells. Curse you. Stupid overpens. What's my detection? Uh, 12 and a half. Okay. So if I go, if I just sh stop shooting. Yeah, the stupid clown in the smoke can't spot me. Gucci, Gucci. Now the question is, do I take a shot at this Alba? I think I should. Gucci, Gucci. What's up, Big GD? Come on, engines. Come on, engines. I'm going to take one of these, I think. I don't think I can avoid it anymore. No, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Don't overturn. No, I'm gonna take it in the stern. It can't be helped now. Can't be stopped. It is inevitable. Bloom. This is gonna fuck up my hair. Well, you're not wrong, dude. Uh, what else am I missing at tier nine? That's most of the crow. Ooh, nice one, white coat. Congratulations. Um. God, my. Much better. Damage output. This game is terrible. Uh, what else am I missing at tier 8? Or tier 8 and 9? Um, well, I'm mostly... I've, Italians are on special, Big GD, but I mean, like, if people want to request other stuff, I'll play whatever. Mogador is actually a really good pick. Like, there, I don't know that you can point to a tier 9 destroyer and say, don't play that, right? If you think through the list of tier 9 destroyers, I don't think there's a bad one in the group. Even Trash Can is not bad anymore. I mean, I mock Trash Can, but she's not that bad. She's really not. Um, oh, yeah, they're coming through hard on the other side. We need to finish this cap, don't we? Oh, uh, Prince Oigan's going to take a face full of torpedoes. You bad, bad, bad ship. And the Ashitaka's got your number two, doesn't he? Oh, actually, you survived that. That's surprising. Um, Gucci, Gucci. I see. I disagree, Striker. I, I, admittedly, some of that is is you have to you have to have a very you have to be very comfortable in how you play Japanese destroyer, right? The Japanese torpedo boats have a very particular play style, and if you're not comfortable with that, well, then Yugamo is not really going to be for you. But I like. I don't feel like there is a problem with Yugamo, right? I mean, she's very very capable. Hang on a minute. I really want to get this shot. Three, two. One. R and Jesus bless me for I have sinned. Um, that was nice. There we go. All right. No, go away, Ashitaka. Nobody asked you. Nobody asked you. Go away. All right. Let's load the SAP after this next shot. We're going to turn around and try and help these guys astern of us here. Because Melty team is Melty. Oh, the Alba went dark. Well, we found the Chikalov. Part of me kind of wants to push that guy now. Oh, get him, Gabe. Get him, Gabe. Okay, Lex got him. It's fine. He's dead. That's all I really care about. Ashitaka's coming back. As long as I'm behind this island, the Ashi can't spot me because the Doria can't see me. Yeah, I need to, I need to, I really want to do one for the Americans, Hart, uh, Hartman. I really do. Um, let's see, what else does that leave us for um, tier nine, tier nine destroyers? I mean, just about everything's really good, honestly. Even Z46, and I don't even particularly care for Z46, but it's not like there are worse ships you could pick. Okay, that was a decent hit out of the SAP. I'll take it. We've got a three-ship lead, so that feels nice. We just need to do something with it. Um, Edinburgh, okay, so if we want to talk about tier eight ships, Edinburgh is a good pick. 
Cleveland is a good pick. Uh, um, I mean, it's a premium, but I'd say Otago is a good pick. Um, what are some other tech tree ships that would be good picks at tier eight? Um, I would avoid Benson. You can make Kagero work in a pinch if you need to. Again, not my first choice, but it could be made to work. Ooh, Gabe, getting bold here. I love it. Let me help with the Fushun. Hold on. Are you going to kill the Fushun? No. He's about to appear right in front of the Fuso. Yep, you killed the Fushun. That works. Hmm. I mean, Oigan is a premium, right? So we were talking about, he specifically asked about tech tree ships. So I'm trying to avoid mentioning premiums. Um, what else does that leave us with? I wouldn't recommend Hipper. She's a capable ship, but in rank, you're going you're gonna to want more. Um, uh, Albemarle, no. I'm not a huge fan of FDG, but that's because I just don't like the ship in general. That's, that's a capability thing for her in ranked, not because I, you know... I just don't like the ship in, in general. Am I behind the Martell? S stupid speed boost. And I missed I missed my chance at the shot at the Ashi, which feels bad. What's my secondary range? 5-9. Okay, it's going to be a bit. Where is the Chikala? I'm really hoping to spot the stupid aircraft carrier, who should be right in front of me somewhere. Charles Martel is actually not a bad pick for rank. She really isn't. Um, San Louis, uh, San Louis and Martel are not bad picks. Like the Germans, they lack some utility, so you're, it's going to feel a little worse than you want it to. But they're not bad ships. Um, there she is. Oh, oh, oh. oh we're going to have fun when the AP loads. Hmm. Good hit yeah. out of the SAP. Desert road, no gas, and no chicks. That's fair. Zath does make a good point. Pretty much anything with German secondaries is is can be really good in ranked. I can't believe I haven't mentioned Ruprecht and Zeton, which honestly this season of silver were monsters for me. Those ships were absolutely ridiculous in what they were capable of doing. I couldn't believe the shenanigans I got away with in those ships. And I honestly, I still probably, I still can't. All right, let's put the SAP in. That's going to hurt a little bit, but I sh that should be the killing, that should be the killing blow on the carrier. And it is. That feels good. And now we just have to finish cleaning up these, these silly fools back here. See what I mean about Karachilo, though? Somehow this ship is better than Veneto. Don't ex don't ask me to don't ask me to explain how. I can't. I just know that it is true. That's a nice SAP hit. Now the Martell's torpedoes are bound to be coming in on me at some point. I gotta wait a bit for a heal. Dun, dun, dun. He's gonna use his fancy speed boost. I want to avoid the torpedoes. Damn. Desert road, no gas, and no chicks. Yep, there's the torpedoes. Let's go back to the SAP. Oh, that works. Eat shit and die. Yep, something like that. And pop a heal. And clear this fire, since the Ashi cannot relight it. Or not reliably, anyway. Hang on a minute. Let me show him my bow. Mortis, Veneto is, in my experience, one of the most miserable battleships in the entire game. game. Like, uh, I just don't better. enjoy... I, I would... I mean, as Roma is a troll, I would far rather play Roma than Veneto. Go get him, Gabe. Go get him, Gabe. I 
got a high caliber. <laughs> you see what I mean? Something about Caracciolo. This ship is legit. Gabe's going to give me a game extension. Look at this. So this ship is legitimately better. Legitimately better than Veneto. Oh, no. Is Gabe going to get the kill? Oh, he is, isn't he? Look at this. Oh, <laughs> Gabe. Well done. Well done. Um, What else? Tech Tree Tier 8 and 9. Honestly, I mean, I kind of I kind of ragged on FDG a little bit. That's a personal thing. Any hydro battleship can have can be made to work. Look at this. What is it? I love this ship. Why is Caracciolo so good and Veneto such trash? I don't understand. It makes no sense. Um, definitely don't play the Italians. Don't play Roma in ranked. Don't play Veneto. Uh, I really don't even. I really don't even think you want to play Lepanto. I really wouldn't. Um, the, the British battleships are not very good.